Hi guys, today I would like to explain to you guys how to make an LED strip work, you know, uh, all the essentials that you're gonna need for all you beginners out there, okay? So the three really basic items that you're gonna need is gonna be mainly your controller, your LED strip, and your power supply, okay? So first of all, we carry different controllers. Uh, this is an LED CON2 R2. Uh, DMX controller, we carry RF controllers, we carry DMX, we carry even analog controllers. Okay, uh, analog controllers will give you more of a manual control, RF controllers will give you a wireless control, and there are also programmable. DMX controllers can give you a pixel by pixel control, and they're also programmable. Okay, and then we have our LED strips. We have different sizes of LED strips. We have a 5050, 3528. We have different colors, RGB, RGBW, single colors, etc. And um, they come in different IP ratings, non-waterproof or waterproof, etc. Um, and also you, you might want to consider when looking at power supplies, what kind of voltage the LED strip is. We carry a five volts and a 12 volt power supply and they have different wattage uh, for different power consumptions okay overall these are gonna be the three basic items that you're gonna need to make an LED strip work okay also you might want to consider some troubleshooting issues when connecting them uh, whenever you have polarity issues as in the wires are connected backwards or something you might want to use a DMX tester or even a multimeter to check those voltages um, if you have flickering issues, this little LED contour or two will help you with that because it comes with a flicker-free refresh rate. Um, if you have any other issues like um, uh, overheating and all that, that will come with uh, experience and knowledge on what, how to install the LED strips. Okay guys, well thank you for watching, if you have any other questions make sure you comment down below, remember to like and to subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.